G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I'm here with Shamain. So, over this last three days, uh, people have written their names in the comments, and I took those names and I put it on the list, and so uh, we would like to minister uh, this afternoon to this 10 people. All right, so the first person on the list is Ingrid Niemand. All right, so Ingrid, uh, the Lord showed me uh, that person that was blind, and then Jesus uh, put mud on their eyes, and then Jesus said, go and wash your, your eyes, and then when they washed their eyes, then their eyes opened up. And I felt that the Lord says He wants to restore vision to you, not only for your physical eyes, but also spiritual vision into your life. And I see how the Lord apply the mud. And so um, the mud is like that original substance that you were made out of, is that the, the, the origin, your purpose. And I felt that the Lord is just restoring you back to your original purpose. He's also restoring your joy back to you. You know, when that person... Uh, when they could see, they rejoiced, and they were so full of gladness, and I felt that that's what the Lord is going to give to you. God bless you, Ingrid. Our next word is for Anne. Anne, God loves you so much. I just saw how God shows me that there's some areas of your life where there's like darkness, but I feel like how the darkness came in by people speaking things over your life, speaking negativity over your life, and I just see how God comes and He like transforms that darkness into light. He makes your whole image, everything that was spoken over you, He just transforms that into light. And I see how Jesus comes with His blood, the blood that was shed on the cross, how He comes and He covers you with that blood. Everything, everything negative, the, uh, the, every negative error that was spoken over you, every, everything, how Jesus just comes and He washes it away. And I just see how you make clean, how you like being transformed, how you're being like revived, just how newness is coming over you. Be blessed. Okay. And uh, I also felt that the Lord is bringing healing to you, uh, healing to your physical body, but also to your relationships in your life. Uh, there's a hardness and the Lord is just softening that. And uh, the Lord is bringing His love into your life. The Lord loves you very, very much. All right, and God bless you. So the next word is for Shan Shan Ming. Uh, so what the Lord showed me is how you're very disciplined, how you read your Bible and you pray and you're faithful when the Lord gives you instructions to do that. And because of that, the Lord is continuously promoting you. And I see new opportunities opening up to you just because you've always been faithful to obey to the Lord. But I felt that the Lord says that you are not accepted because of your hard work and because of your obedience. The Lord says, I love you just like you are. And I just see how the Lord showered His love and His acceptance on you tonight. God bless you. Our next word is for Saya Neon. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your name correct. I just feel like how God says that you are special in His kingdom. You are made special. You've got a special purpose. I see like how you sometimes feel like you don't have worth or you don't feel, you feel like, like you don't have a purpose. And I just feel like how God is saying that you've got a purpose. I see like how God shows me that when you connect to His Word, when you connect to His, to His Spirit, how God just says that how your, your thoughts will be renewed and how you'll be like, um, your thoughts will become on God's frequency and then, then you'll feel like how you've got a purpose. Um, I see like how God shows me that every day when you like spend intimate time with God, when you've got like a routine where you like in the morning get up, you spend time in the word, you spend time in um, prayer, how God shows me that your spirit will be built up. And when your spirit is being built up, how you like whole being, how your whole image, how your whole you, you'll be like renewed and you'll just like, feel like how you become like part of God's kingdom and you'll feel like how you'll have a purpose. Be blessed. Okay. Uh, Sion, uh, God loves you very, very much. Uh, His hand is upon you. Uh, I also see uh, a curtain, like a window curtain that you open up and then you see the, the outside. And I felt that the Lord is bringing a little bit light and perspective into your life. Uh, wonderful. God loves you very, very much. Um, I, I think sometimes you can get so in your mind uh, and just see your own world, your own circumstances that you that you limit yourself. And the Lord just wants you to expand yourself a little bit. So God bless you. Okay, so Gabriela, uh, the Lord showed me a, a family anointing upon your life. So I saw um, a sense of righteousness, anointing for legal cases, uh, leadership, 
uh, I felt that you are a pillar in the house of God, that the Lord has made you righteous to stand up, um, you know, uh, to be an elder, uh, to be a daughter of God with authority in the house of God and, and a person in position. And so I felt that the Lord says that, uh, that you're going to inherit a lot of um, authority in your life. Uh, but it's not just that you have that authority just because you inherited it. It's also because you've been trained for it and you and you can rule with that authority that God has given to you. So if you think about a king and a king has a, a daughter that maybe becomes a queen or a son that becomes a king, that king actually inherits that anointing. But that king has also been groomed for that position. And so in the same way, I feel that the Lord is grooming you right now for that position of authority that he has for you in your life. God bless you, Gabriela. Our next word is for Wisdom Rivers. Wisdom, when I felt, when I prayed for you, I just felt like how God shows me that you've got like a teaching and a, a counseling anointing. I saw like how God shows me that you've got compassion and like a big heart for people. How God shows me that you've got patience as well to work with people. I see like how God shows me that when you sit with people, how you like speak life over them, how you just counsel them over their circumstances. But I see like how God shows me that you've got such a huge big heart for these people that you you always pray about people you pray for people and that's how you get the the revelations and that's how you get um, to do the counseling with people um, I see like our God shows me that when you speak words of God over people how their situations are being transformed and being like changed and I just feel like how God shows me that he's like filling you with his spirit with uh, giving you new anointing oil so that you can pour that oil over the people that you're talking to be blessed all right awesome uh, wisdom God bless you uh, so Dawn Stewart um, the Lord shows me restoration of passion uh, and I felt that the Lord is touching your heart today and so it's almost as if you finished a, a task and now you don't have passion for the next, next task. But the Lord says, this is not a time to retire. This is a time to receive passion and vision for the next season in your life. And so I see how the Lord gives you a baptism of fire. And so all of us can receive a baptism of in the Holy Spirit uh, in our lives uh, when we get saved. But then from time to time, the Lord give us a fresh anointing for a fresh purpose. But He don't only give us the, the anointing, He also give us the passion. And I see how the Lord gives you a passion. So I remember uh, with uh, one of our children, uh, Claire got pregnant, my wife. Uh, and then she was so in love with our other kids that we had. And then she said to me, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to love this child because I already love the other children so much. But then at one stage, it's as if the Lord just dropped in a, a tremendous love for that child. So she was holding that baby and she's like, I love this baby so much. And it's like one day old baby, but she loves the baby with everything is in her. And it's because the Lord dropped that passion, that love for that child in her. And I feel that's what the Lord is doing with you. God bless you. And next word is for Shannon Fleming. I just felt like um, when I prayed for you, I saw this picture, how God shows me that you've got like this vegetable garden with all types of vegetables and you're like working very, very hard on your vegetable garden. And as soon as, the, as, soon as some of the things come, um, become ripe so that you can start to take them from the garden, I see how, like, how they're like being stolen away. And I feel like how God shows me that in your work, in your ministry, in your business, wherever you are at your life, that you're like working very, very hard. But as soon as you start, start to reach out to get your harvest, or as soon as your harvest gets ready, how the enemy comes and steals from you. And then I saw like how God shows me that he's like putting a protection over your harvest, how he's like um, stepping in when the enemy wants, wants to come and steal, how they won't be able to steal anymore and you'll be able to reap from your harvest that you worked hard for. Be blessed. Hello, okay, Shannon. Uh, God bless you. Uh, I agree 100% with what um, Charmaine was saying. She was talking about God protecting your harvest. Uh, I also felt that the Lord is putting the blood of Jesus over your life. So sometimes uh, people want to get into works and say, okay, it's because I didn't do these three things or that two things. And that's why things is not working out. But the Lord says, 
through the blood of Jesus, he has forgiven you, he's washed you clean, and you are his child. And so you can just put your trust in the Lord. He will protect you and he will help you to have the provision that you need in your life. All right, awesome. God bless you, Shannon. Uh, so the next word is for Arthur. Uh, Arthur, I really see how the Lord is just uh, reviving you. So I saw that you were struggling with health. And then also you were stuck with your finances. It's as if you were just in the same place and now you need to move. You know, um, when people have mines, they dig in one place and then they get all the gold or all the, the iron or whatever, they dig in coal in a certain area. And at some point, it's not feasible anymore to have that mine in that place. And then I need to close the mine and then uh, the people can go and work at another mine again where that is where it is still feasible. And I just felt that this business that you've been involved with is coming to the point where it's not feasible anymore. And so now a big change needs to happen. Uh, but, that, but that's in your finances. But then I saw in your physical body how the Lord is also just helping you to revive you, to get you fit and strong and healthy so that you can continue with the next season for your life. God bless you, Arthur. Our next word is for Krista Crump. What I got for you, how God shows me that you like to be in control. You like to see what comes next and you like to plan for what next, what comes next. But I feel like our God is saying, this is the season now to follow and to trust. I feel like our God shows me that he's got his plan for you, but you don't see like the end of the plan. But God has got the plan for you. He already knows what the end of the plan is. So I just feel like our God is saying, Trust in Him and follow the direction that He's taking you and the direction that He's got planned for you. Be blessed. Hi, uh, Krista. Awesome. It's wonderful to have you uh, here on tonight. Uh, Krista, I really see how you dive into the Word of God and just read the Scriptures and how it washes you clean. So when we read the Bible, um, uh, the one part it is transforms our mind, but the other part is, is, is just a cleansing. You know, like detoxing, sometimes it's good for us to to switch our phones off and switch that TV and things like that off and to just allow the Word of God to, to freshen us. And I see that was, that's also what the Lord wants to do with you. Hi, family. It was wonderful for me and for Shemaine to minister to you uh, this afternoon. Um, please write your name in the comments if you'd like to receive a word. We are going to be back again Monday evening with the team and then we're going to minister live to people. I love and I appreciate each one of you. God bless.